Hello, I am Miriam, co-founder and COO of Keto Chat. I'm Chris, also co-founder, president, and the technical guy, and I have a little bit of junk in my throat. Oh, nice, ah. nice, dear. Anyway, if you're brand new to Keto Chow, it's a nutritionally complete meal designed to make doing keto easy. We also have some electrolyte supplements that are amazing for everyday use and for keeping the dreaded keto flu away. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the little bell icon for daily updates on all our Keto Chow happenings. These live streams help us be accountable and stay on track. Thanks so much for joining us on our keto journey. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Becca says 2KK is getting is being better at ending before this one starts, so I don't have to feel like I'm choosing one or the other. That's okay. Yeah, it's okay. You can choose them. We know yeah. they're cool. Anyway, let's see. It looks like Betsy is here and Stacy. Hi, Betsy. Um, Hi, also Stacey. Debbie. Um, let's see. Carrie says good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, oh, and Debbie says it's, uh, there's a 30 degree drop in temps. Yeah, we did Whoa, the same we thing. We had the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really cold today. It snowed yesterday. It was awesome. Yep. And it's going to be cold all this week. Mm -hmm. Uh, I didn't get see. to go on a hike either last week. Mead says good morning. And Keto Life Branding says morning, y'all. Good morning. Uh, let's see, Becca says good morning, all Shoshana is here. And Audrey says I'm I'm finding out how multi-talented I can be by mm. logging into both here and 2KK. Ooh. Wow. Jerry says hello. Uh, Rita says good morning, all. Good morning. Uh, Pamela says good morning, everyone. Lady Smith is here. So is B Susan. Hello. Mary Jo says good morning. Monday morning, did everyone. Did you guys have a good weekend? We did. Yeah. Rick Wynn says, hey, everyone, switching over from Two Crazy Ketos. Stwong is here. So is Bobby. Hello. And Exposing Darkness. And Gina, welcome. Glenn says, good morning, all. Mimi says, hello, everyone. YouTube hopping. Yeah. Uh, Shauna says, good morning, Chris and Miriam. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Monday's Pamela's the best day of the week. I know sometimes. usually Friday is the best day of the week, but Monday's like a fresh start. You're all energized and ready for, to tackle the world. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Brenda says, nice, jumping over from 2KK. Uh, Carrie says, hello, Chris and Miriam. The weather is coming my way again. Yep. Huh? Lady Smith says, Mondays are awesome when you're retired. Yeah. They're just like every other day, right? Dennis is here. Hi, Dennis. 22 QCast is morning all. MJ is here also. Uh, let's see, Redwine says, hello from Gaston, Indiana. Ooh. We'll be home in the morning. <gasps> yes. That's awesome. Uh, Christy is here. Christy Davis is here. Rihanna says, good morning, friends. Thank you so much for the electrolytes. I got sunburned at Crystal Hot Springs <gasps> yesterday. Ah. And taking the electrolytes is taking the burn out of the burn. Oh, that's good. I'm we glad were you got going some sun. to go to Crystal Hot Springs, yeah, and we ended up we? not going. What happened? I don't remember. That was like years ago, though. I was still working downtown yeah. at the time. I don't remember. Sonia says, good morning, all. Lori is Sonia, here. Sonia, hi. I love you. I miss you. Um, Purple A says, hi, Christ and Miriam. She didn't mean to say that. <laughs> Every once in a while, my uh, my phone auto corrects me as well. I feel like it's a good thing because I start writing Chris and I put a T on it. I'm all that means I'm focusing in the right place, right? <laughs> Ezra says listening was called into work, so getting ready after having my delicious keto chow. Yeah. Alice says ice fishing today, hot keto chow for me. That sounds awesome. Um, I tried something different last night. I mixed up keto chow with uh, powdered whole eggs nice gonna because um carrie brown did her post yeah. about using eggs in there the nice thing about using powdered whole eggs is that well they're already pasteurized yeah so we're gonna awesome. see what that's like i was gonna have one of yours today too but i forgot one well you can i just want to taste it and see what it tastes like okay then well then i want to have it and then i'm going to uh make the stuff i made in the creamy and you also brought the prime rib that we had for yes, dinner last night. Yes, for lunch. Mm -hmm. We're actually doing a little challenge with my uh, side of the family. With your siblings? Yes, I'm excited. It stays the first day. And um, we're, we're writing down if we meal plan. And if we follow our meal plan, oh. and if we drink a good amount of water. Which isn't It isn't specific because you just drink until you're not thirsty anymore. There is no scientific evidence that you need to drink a specific amount of water. Yep. But it is good to be hydrated. But I was, but my point is to yeah, not sorry. drink other things. And so oh, my family okay. was kind of funny. They're like, uh, what does this mean? I'm all, try not to drink other stuff. Like just feel good about the water that you're drinking and yeah. not just drink a soda first thing in the morning. and all the other things that you could be drinking. So that was my, my point was to try to get water. Shh, stop talking. Try to get uh, water in. Yeah. But what were the other things, do you remember? Uh, I don't remember. 
oh, anyway, work out and uh, track my food. So I wrote track, like food journaling in okay. there because not all of them even know or care what macros are. So <laughs> um, I'm going to track my macros and you're going to track too. Okay. And so we're going to just get on top of things. Yes. Now, talking about being hydrated, there's this great XKCD, rest and fluids. So glad you're feeling better. Be sure to get dehydrated and ah. run on a treadmill until you black out. No. <laughs> Once people aren't sick anymore, it's important to remind them to stop resting and drinking fluids. <laughs> Let's see, the mouse over says, remember yeah. not to take it easy. Put a hot washcloth on your forehead, remain standing, and breathe dry air while taking lots of histamines. You need to give your body a chance to get sick again. <laughs> yeah, gosh. <laughs> anyway. That's silly. That is super silly. <laughs> it might even be super silly. Yep. Uh, let's see. Anyway, Pamela says, ice fishing today. Hot keto chat for me. I think I read that one already. Blue Dev says, good morning. Chow hounds picked up two different kinds of duck eggs this morning. <gasps> yes. And then threw them at the wall. No. <laughs> Sister Peace says, good morning. First time. I've been, I've been on time in a couple of weeks. Hey, glad you're here. Uh, let's see. Cheryl says, good morning. Thank you for helping me lose 165 yes, pounds. Yes, Cheryl. That's amazing. You're so amazing. You're amazing. Uh, Vicky says, um, greetings from Bradenton, Florida. Oh, cool. Uh, JC Bean says, thank you so much. Your shipping department rocks. They shipped my info stack yes. and Chow Club together. Love getting all my goodies together. Save you all shipping and not having to wait. Well, and that's one interesting uh, side effect of the free ground shipping is it allows us to, well, we just combine orders with impunity now. So. Yep. Janice is here. Wild Zen says, morning. Oh, is winter done yet? Nope, not yet. Yep, got a couple more weeks. Uh, Brenda says, did you get, get sun this week? And no, it snowed. Yeah, I wish we got sun. Connie's here, says, morning, everyone. Lauren says, hi. New here, very interested. Happy Monday. Welcome, Lauren. Glad you're here, Lauren. Uh, Patricia says, have a great morning. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Meets his Mondays are the best since I have them off. Yeah. Penny says, morning, crazy Tennessee weather. 80 degrees past week and next week, oh. 44. Yep. Yep. Uh, that was kind of we us didn't as get well. 80, but yep. we got there. No, you can just put your phone on. Uh, do not disturb. Jen says, morning, had an experiment at the Crock-Pot. Lazy engineer pork butt. Going to see if the beef keto chow will taste good with the pork. Nice. I, I bet it will. You have to let us know. Uh, let's see. Debbie says, love that Monday excitement. Lee Smith says, add a girl, Miriam. <laughs> Des says, greetings. Chris and Miriam. Larry says, yep, 2KK just ended, and I'm also here. Good morning. Good morning. Virginia says, good morning. Chris says, Virginia. I've been up all night with babies. Oh. Last night, chocolate mint kept me going. Having chocolate toffee this morning. So thankful for my sweet treats. Christy, um, when we're done here, go on YouTube and mm -hmm. look for Dude Dad. Oh, my gosh. It's the third to the last video. Uh, so three videos ago was uh -huh. um, getting the kids ready. It was really funny. And it's, so <laughs> it's the dad getting the kids ready in the morning. Though the second to the last one was his wife watching it for the I first time and reacting. Yeah. Really funny. Her hair looks amazing. Yeah. Um, and then the most recent one is like they're re them renewing their vows. But you will really appreciate it because the, the husband's like, well, where have you been all morning? She's like, oh, mister, I actually got sleep last night. Let me tell you what I was doing last night. I got so and so woke up and then threw up and blah, blah, blah. got up with this kid. <laughs> anyway, it was like, really funny. Yeah, I miss it, but I don't miss getting up in the middle of the night multiple times a night. Now I just get up in the night to go pee. Okay. Which is not that great. Well, it says, I can't say I feel so positive about Mondays, but it's way better than it used to be pre-keto. Yeah. And yeah, Susie, morning to you both. Finally have some sunshine in chilly Yay. Wisconsin. Oh, I'm so glad. Joanne is here. Tina says, I'm new to Keto Chow and love it. Well, Tina, we like you I'm too. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for uh, coming. Ellen says, I tried Same my first night. black licorice yesterday. Immediately Ooh. ordered more. Black licorice yes. has been my worst craving and caving in since starting Keto. And Keto Chow black licorice is going to save me. Yes. Uh, let's see, Francis, morning chow friends. Rhonda is here. So the red licorice ice cream is way up there with my Right? Pistachio. I told you it's good as ice cream. Nice. Uh, Bessie says, how was your family get together on Saturday? It was great. Oh, yeah. We had a good time. Yep. It was nice. Yep. It was, it was good. Uh, Lori says, I've been wondering about adding whole egg powder or even egg white powder myself. Glad you tried it. Yeah. And the, the egg white powder just adds more protein. Yep. I was actually trying to see, uh, I think it was 22.9 grams of, of whole egg powder. It's um, 10 grams of fat. Equals 10 grams of fat. Let's yeah. see. Uh, keto chow mini. Well, when, where, did, um, where did Carrie fat. post where she was doing that? It was, was on that the on YouTube. Her kitchen? Or, uh, no. It was on her Facebook. 
Kitchen page. Whoa. So if you're not part of Carrie Brown's uh, Facebook page, mm -hmm. go look her up and uh, and join her page because she has great stuff. And she was mentioning that she's been making it with whole eggs. Um, Added this on yesterday. Oh, okay. So uh, 22.8 grams of whole egg powder, which is about three tablespoons, yeah. or 16.9 grams of egg yolk powder will give you that 10 gram minimum. Oh, okay. Or a tablespoon of butter, two tablespoons of heavy cream, or a tablespoon of oil, or two large eggs. Yeah. So that would be like PSMF macros. Yes. That's if you want to do the minimum. Uh, let's oh. whoop. <gasps> <laughs> that was great. Uh, you know what there is? There's a, uh, Holly has a washcloth right there that she gave me for Christmas. Where? Oh, that's yeah. not absorbent. Oh, well, we can see if it is. <laughs> Chris just awesome. spilled his drink I everywhere. Sure did. Anyway, thanks Holly. <laughs> oh, it totally worked. <laughs> now I can take it home and wash it. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Meg says, good morning. Cold and sunny oh. here in Idaho. Chocolate mint is on the menu for today. Yes. Uh, Audrey says it was 80 here the other day. Yeah. <laughs> Would someone shoot the groundhog, please? Yeah. Um, Carrie says, so Chris, I can't try to drink a gallon of water in a day. Yeah, I wouldn't even attempt yeah. it. I think that's it's crazy. Yeah, well, and I think the, the it's what, eight, eight glasses of water that yeah, has which been is, forever. And it's not based on actual yeah. Science. And I feel like we always have forced ourselves to drink water because of that. When um, Drink water when you're thirsty. Yeah. And I think it's important to not get dehydrated. And so a lot of times if I'm not thirsty, I won't drink for a long time. And then I'll be dehydrated the next day. But I think if you're just paying attention, you can yep. do better. Well, Cheryl has a good question. Can I use extracts in keto chow? Yes. Uh, yeah. If so, how much? How much do you want to use? Add as much as you want and see if it's Start enough. Start with a couple drops and yeah. then add more. Yeah, there's not actually a good, because each one's going to have different concentrations. Yeah, the so OOO flavors you use a lot it. more than like an extract from the yep. grocery store. So. Sky says, I just on, just jumped on. Hi, Sky. Uh, let's see, j Docs says, morning chowlings. Alan is here as well. Hi, Alan, how uh, are you? Let's see, Lady Smith, wow. Crazy oh. cartoon. Yes, it is. Sky, I'm wondering, did you put Keto Salt Lake into your travel plans? Oh, I think it was too close for him. Oh. He was thinking about it. Anyway, <laughs> Lady Smith says, crazy cartoon. Mm. Lori says, hot Keto Chow is not bad at all. No, yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's so good. Oh, Sharon had Joe and Rachel's banana pudding for breakfast, and it was yummy. Nice. Uh, Dennis says, super silliest. Wow. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, oh, Carrie says he did find, he did try Cheek. Oh, Cow okay. cheek. Nice. And said it was, it tastes wonderful. That's awesome. 22 QCAT says, I hate to waste food. Ran across some protein powder I used to make. I thought mm. I'd go ahead and finish it up. Nope, it wasn't good. Aww. Couldn't drink it. <laughs> Chrissy says, I've been trying to make a good breakfast gravy. Being a Southern girl, it has to be right. I finally made an amazing recipe using beef keto chow as my secret nice. recipe ingredient. So when we do it, we just brown sausage with some onions and garlic mm -hmm. in there. And then you add heavy cream until, eh, that's about right. Bring it to a simmer till it's starting to bubble, and that usually thickens it up. Mm -hmm. And then we put it on the uh, um, keto chow drop biscuits. Yeah. We were going to make those this weekend, and we didn't. I didn't know that we were going to make those. I was make Missy says, good morning. Let's talk sweetener. Explain to me your sweetener. How do you help? Okay, so here we go. Actually, the best thing for that is if you search for Keto chow sucralose. Yep. There is an exhaustive, because we get this pretty frequently. Yep. So here we go. The first thing is a lot of people conflate Splenda with sucralose. Confused. The, the same thing, but yeah. Okay. Splenda has a lot of maltodextrin. Sucralose does not. It's concentrated. And you go further down here, it's, it's a really intensive discussion, probably more than we want to get into on this particular live stream, but there's the link in the comments. Yep. Um, the short version is we don't use erythritol or um, any of those other sugar alcohols. Well, number one, because that, those are total carbs and some people can't do that many total, total carbs. It would also double the cost of keto chow or the, the price and the weight and the and and the cost for shipping. 
So we use sucralose because it has a really good flavor profile. Most people don't actually have a physical problem with it. There are some people who have a theoretical issue with it. Yeah, some people do have problems with it. Yes, there are. It's just so small, a lot of times yep. it doesn't. And other people negligible. are allergic to stevia yep. or and monk fruit. Okay. So anyway, check out that um, FAQ. It goes into some really exhaustive detail. Um, sucralose by itself is one of the most studied substances. And it's really interesting. Most of the studies that indicate that it's a problem stop short of actually proving that anything sweet isn't a problem. Yeah. And that's the biggest issue with most of the st um, studies that look at sucralose is they don't actually compare it to other sweeteners. And most of the results they're getting would indicate that if they were to compare it to anything sweet, they would get the same result. So anything that's sweet would have that same issue. Anyway. Yep. Um, and there's a video on that page, too, where we go into some exhaustive detail talking about it as well. Uh, let's see. Mary Jane. Mary Angel J says, good morning, beautiful people. Hello. Uh, it says, I made the Hawaiian egg white rolls, and it came out nice. great. Nice. That sounds awesome. Oh, Betsy says, I think my info stack was combined with my other order, and that's why I was confused. Oh, perfect. Lori says, the post office is so much faster now. Yeah, it's gotten better lately. Yeah, it's gotten better. Hoping this is hello, everyone. Happy Monday to you all. I'll be listening and while working hard. Yay. This guy says, yeah, first word I heard was the was food plan. Is there one I have some confusion with chow numbers, just not adding up, but I'm a dork too. The, You're not a dork. The big thing is on the, on the back of the bag, when you look at something like carb manager or whatnot, this first column here, which is keto chow by itself mm -hmm. with no... Um, fat added is what you should have in your like tracking, tracking app yep. and then you add the amount of fat and the type of fat that you're using because you might be using whole yep. eggs or butter. butter or heavy cream. And so that's what you would be looking at um, when you're putting into a tracking app. Yep. As far as like a, a meal plan that I was talking about for our goals that we have ourselves, I am giving myself realistic expectations. I typically do a meal plan for the whole week for dinners, but I wanted to do like um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for myself so that I could really hone in on what I'm eating. And I've never been super successful at that before, mm. so I'm giving myself um, very uh, loo not loose rules. I don't know. I'm giving myself until the night before to make the meal plan for the next day. Oh, okay. So I can give myself as much success as possible. So if I want to change my mind, I have to do it the night before, right? Because right. I just really like to fly by the seat of my pants. So I'm like, well, I have to, I have to do the night before. And what lovely <laughs> pants they are. <laughs> JC Bean says, do you think you'll have another InfoStack deal? Been sharing details with my friends. Uh, not anytime soon. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It, it was, was kind of, kind of a, we weren't planning on doing it. Actually, Bronson was the one who yeah, us into that. It. Um, but we're not planning on anything like that anytime soon. Yeah, I, I would be interested to see how you guys like the other um, The stuff options. that isn't. Keto chow? Yeah, let us know. Give mm -hmm. us some feedback. Pamela says, make an order this week for your electrolytes. Do you need minerals as well, or do the electrolytes cover what you need? The, the daily minerals are a good base of mm -hmm. stuff that's missing from most people's yes. diet. Whereas the electrolytes are more of a spot treatment of you feel like you need more magnesium, use the magnesium drops. Just general electrolytes, use the electrolyte drops. Uh, if you need more sodium because you're fasting, use the fasting drops. But um, yeah, the fact, let me see if that should be linked on it. Let's see if it's linked like it's supposed to. Okay. So if you go to the daily minerals, do, 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 do. here we go. Uh, take a look at this blog post. That blog post right there actually goes into what the yeah, why the electrolytes details. are important, which ones are, you know, like the, um, here we go. Yeah, how do the other Keto Child electrolyte supplements fit into the formula then? So it actually explains it all on this yeah, page. Yeah, it's helpful. So we'll Ooh. throw that in the chat. We'll pop that into the chat too, right? Yeah. 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 Do, do, do. We're super behind. Uh, let's see. Um, Christy says, I'll have to try the drop yeah, biscuits. Yeah, you should. They're good. Um, 
Ba, ba, ba. At least as I got it, my new creamy, and the first time I used it, it did the same thing as the last. The paddle gets buried at the bottom and doesn't come back up. I'm beyond frustrated. Don't know what to do next. Aww. I only had that happen to me once, and it was when I tried to freeze soda, diet soda. Really? I've never had that happen. Yeah. It, it works for me. But I usually just use a keto chow. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. Context um, of people. Shauna says, my mom is enjoying having keto chow shakes hot coffee. Keto chow now runs in the family. Nice. There you go. How's she feeling? How's she feeling since she's been doing keto? I'm super happy that she's doing that. Betsy says, I put egg white powder into my creamy, but not a whole scoop. I think I've, I put a scoop in three creamies. It was just fine. And Pamela says, no, I'm a groundhog baby. No shooting. <laughs> okay, no shooting. Uh, Penny says, Wendy, Wendy on Loving on Keto, made an amazing looking Keto Chow lemon birthday cake because oh, it yeah. was her birthday. Is she going to show up today? We, we want to oh, sing to her. Oh, we do want to sing to her. It was her birthday on the weekend. Yeah. We'll just call her. Jerry says, She'll one of my work. work KPIs is to work to remove stress. My boss suggested a daily break and go for a walk. Do you know what, what a KPI company? is? Key. Key per performance indicator. Yeah. I learned what that is. Sorry. I'm sorry. I thought that you were done. I love my company, but help. My health goals. Yep. Yeah, key performance indicator. There, Jerry said it. Uh, Rana says, yesterday I made Indigo Neely's wraps with a keto chow egg white protein and nice. added everything but bagel seasoning. I stuffed it in Philly steak and cheese. Yes. So what I want to know is if you can make those ahead of time and keep them in the fridge for a while or the freezer. I think so. Because our kids go through low-carb tortillas real fast, and it would be way better if we could go through those. It would. Uh, JC Bean says, 2KK chili for lunch. I need to order another bag of tomato basil before they sell out. Nice. Joe's out, too. He's oh, like, shoot. He's like, ah, I just ran out. Joanne says, over the weekend, I made PSMF bread, chaffles with pork sausage, and green bean casserole set for a few days. Nice. I'm so Miriam likes green happy. beans. They don't fill my oh, life with joy. Um, Brenda says, I made the gummies yesterday, strawberry, and they're yummy. Nice. Uh, yo, yama. Sorry. Yum, Added yama. more flavoring and a t teaspoon more of acacia to my tummy. Nice. Mike said I reserved a room in a hotel on the yes. QSL Lake page. Nice. Mike. Laura says I'm here was watching 2KK, but I'm here now. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, Sky says, yeah, sadly, no uh, Salt Lake City for me. Previous travel plans have me heading southeast. Yeah, that's well, what I that remember. that should still be fun. Me says, Spanda gives Sucralos a bad name. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and Luke says, good morning. Good morning. That's such a silly movie. Anyway, just because it's a lesson I forget, sugar alcohols can cause, cause a lot of people bubble gut. That yep. is also true. Yep. Um, Red White says, I wish they would make companies say if they use Splenda and not just sucralose. Well, interestingly, uh, if, typically they should. If, if it's, it's an ingredient in something, they're probably using actual sucralose because Splenda is just too big. No one wants to use all the maltodextrin in a, in a product. So chances are, if it's a product with sucralose in it, it's actual sucralose and not Splenda. Yeah, I have seen products that say Splenda, and it's like the type with the tilted top yeah, and everything. But, and, and in that case, it's not using the maltodextrin. The problem is people confuse sucralose yeah. with the Splenda you buy on the store shelves. Mm -hmm. And that absolutely will raise your blood glucose. It absolutely will because it's 99.8% maltodextrin, which yep. is starch. But I think what's important to remember is we always want to check, like if you want to see how something is going to react in your body, do a blood glucose test yep. and check and see. Because if you're going to allow it into your life, you need to know what it's going to do to you. Luke says, I have 30 minutes before I turn into a pumpkin and join a Skype conference. <laughs> <laughs> Sky says, I love my liquid sucralose, best for iced tea. Well, and that's one of the, talking about liquid sucralose, mm -hmm. one of the reasons why they, again, they bulk up Splenda is because it's so hard to measure. But if you mix it with water, then you can just drip out the liquid mm -hmm. sucralose, and it's really easy to measure. Yep. That's why liquid sucralose is fan-freaking-tastic. It is. Um, Two Crazy Kios is here. Shoshana says we're having a hot pot for dinner. Can't wait. Nice. Uh, let's see. Two Crazy Kios says such a great way to stay on plan. Rachel likes to put everything in the chronometer the mm. day before yeah. to help stay on plan. That's what I was thinking. If I'm like, I should can, just meal plan in the chronometer. Then if, I'll write it down. <laughs> if you can do that where you put your stuff in chronometer before you even eat it mm -hmm. or the day before, fun fact, you can actually copy all of the stuff in chronometer and paste it onto a new day. Yep. So if you like really are planning it out, you can totally just, no, I'm putting it in ahead of time. 
Mm -hmm. And then it's like, I'm sticking to it. I'm amazing. Uh, Betsy says, Can you, could you recommend a good K2 supplement? You have one that you're using. I have one. Ooh. You actually want to use one that is an MK7. MK7. So let me find the... And the MK7 that Amazon. they put into that, they get it from the same place that we get our vitamin K2 um, that we're putting into uh, Keto Chow. Um, but Miriam's going to look for hers. Mm -hmm. uh, Pamela says, thank you, Chris. I'll look at that. Let's see... Um, Betsy says, I just purchased everything bagel. bagel. How do you use it? Oh, you apply it to your forehead. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have it too. Okay, this is the one I take. Oh, you can't see it because it's see-through. MK7. <laughs> what brand is that? It is Best Naturals. Um, and that's, it's a MK7 vitamin K2. $18.95 for on Amazon. 100, no, 120 Capsules. Vegan capsules. The hilarious thing is, those capsules may be yeah. vegan, but What's inside vitamin is MK7 not. is yeah. produced by using a single celled organism. Yep. And it is not vegan. Yep. And I, I've been taking these for a long time. I, you have to take them. I take them with my vitamin D. There you go. Three. Rana says, Yes, you can freeze them too, Miriam. Just add a little Kyo Chow creamy tomato and basil, and it's amazing. Nice. Uh, let's see, Shauna says 39 days till Keto Salt Lake. Oh my gosh, that's so close. My, my main goal for today, for mm -hmm. anybody who is caring. Everybody wants to know. Is we are How going to I figure know? out exactly which trade shows we're going to, who on our team is going to those trade shows, yep. and I'm going to book a bunch of airplane flights Yay. and rent a bunch of houses. Because houses. if you have more than two people going someplace, a lot of times it's just cheaper and easier to just rent a house so we go on vrbo.com and mm -hmm. anyway mj says maltodextrin has 13 grams of carbs per tablespoon yeah <laughs> because that's how many carbs are uh, that's how many grams are in a tablespoon uh, when you do maltodextrin um purple uh, lady says i log my stuff in my fitness pal either the night before or first thing in the morning Jerry says, so sucralose is 600 times sweeter than sugar. I have a 32-ounce bottle I got on Amazon. Need to get a squeeze bottle so I can dilute it down. Yeah. Yep. I was fixing my shoe. It was bugging me. <laughs> Sean says, Miriam, I've been going back to the time when we did our meal plan challenge last year. I got to yeah. tighten up the shit. Yep. That's what I got to do. MJ says, maltodextrin is a white powder that can be made from rice, corn, wheat, or potato starch. Yeah, and maltodextrin is literally just starch. Yep. Which, in case you didn't know, is a chain of glucose. And when the, the enzymes in your saliva, the amylase, um, hits that, it breaks it up into glucose and it turns it sweet. And which is why it just, it just hits your uh, blood sugar like crazy. JC Bean says, will beef soup, beef soup base be in stock again in 21 meal bags? Yeah, we actually ordered 200 yeah, of them. Some. They may soon. be coming this week or they next been week. Here last week. They what should the have heck? been here last week. But it will be coming back in stock. Uh, Sonia says, I'm battling a severe sore throat and cough. Oh, I'm so Chloroseptic sorry. spray has sodium saccharin and sucralose in it, sugar free cough drops, and it has ACE K and isomalt. Yeah. Um, actually, so the chloroseptic, I believe that that's not going to be a Probably problem, fine. depending on how you personally react. Yeah. What you do want to be aware of the isomalt on the sugar free cough drops is kind of meh, iffy. Yeah. Um, I do know that like liquid um, NyQuil has oh, yeah. sugar in it, just yeah. flat out. But the pills don't, so the we take don't. like the, the NyQuil pill capsules yep. or whatever. Uh, I, if you are okay with the cough drops, I would use the cough drops. If you want to and it will help you feel some relief, I would just do it anyway. Yeah. Because but the ACE K is yeah, generally speaking going to be fine. To get better. A sulfamy potassium, I, that's ACE-K, in case you're wondering. Mm -hmm. I'm Mary J says, I clean up my Kyocha shaker with my second coffee. I don't even add my stevia drops. Oh, oh nice. Yes. Dennis says, Chris and Miriam, if you're not, if you're like me, you're not Lent savvy, uh, will it be over by Thursday, April 14th? Lent? I don't know. I don't remember. I think... It just started, though. Uh, wasn't it last Wednesday? Um... When is Lent? Good luck, Granny. Says I pre-plan my meals in Carb Manager too. If you have the same thing all the time, like I do with my Kyocha coffee, you can create a My Foods entry yes. and just click for it to auto-add. Nice. That yeah. works great. 
uh, begins on Ash Wednesday, which, was which is last, March 2nd, uh -huh. and lasts for 40 days. So it'll be done on April 16th. So right after uh, Keto Salt Lake. Oh, Keto Salt Lake is on the 16th. Yeah, it's on the 16th. There you so go. So there you go. Uh, let's see. Susan says, iodine and chronometer, if you go under settings, profile and target, target nutrients, you can add iodine oh, to your... That's very good, Susan. Yeah, we probably should. I actually probably already added it to mine. Yeah, well, it, well, it wasn't on mine. Wild Zen says, I try to log as I eat, and I have to log. That way, I, if I have a bad or overeating day, I can yep. analyze what to avoid to do yep. better the next time. Yep. Also, I think, too, thinking about um, your feelings when you were doing that thing. Like, so often, I feel like my problem is so emotional. Like, and we've heard Dr. Saitwa says, you know, every snack is an emotional event. Why? Why? Is it because I'm bored and I'm walking back and forth passing the nut thing? Like, and I think we just need to maybe think and get to know ourselves better, like emotionally. What was I feeling when I ate the entire bag of pork rinds? <laughs> I was thinking about watching a TV show and chilling out and doing nothing. Or I was, you know, like, I was upset and I just wanted something to soothe me, so I ate an entire Lily's chocolate bar. Like poor little bunny. Poor little bunny. I should <laughs> stop being so upset. But I think you know we have to recognize that it's part of our lives, and the pandemic really opened up a can of emotional worms that so many people were just pushing down, and we need to not be so quiet about emotions. Like it's still it's part of our lives, and we need to feel our emotions, and we need to maybe your lives, weaklings. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay, so anyway, while I'm on my tangent, I have this cute book, The Little Book of Wisdom for Exquisite Ladies. Ooh. It's cute, right? So I read this this morning. Everything that happens to you is your teacher. The secret is, is to learn to sit at the feet of your own life and be taught by it. Polly Burns or something like that. I feel like exquisite that. just hearing that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> anyway, I... I this was interesting to me because I thought I was listening to essentialism again today okay. in the car and he was talking about journaling and he was talking about how what his key to getting in the habit of journaling. One of the things he did was write less than he thought he was going to mm. write Yep. because and I noticed that in myself when I get my journal up, I'm like, I got to catch up yeah. for the last three years. I didn't write. So I write three or four pages and, that's unsustainable. and then the next day it's so difficult to write, you know, if, if I get behind or something like that. And then then I just feel, then I Didn't he say two minutes stink. or like five minutes? I, I don't know exactly. I don't remember. I think how, it was like, it he was. said only write for two minutes. Yeah. And he, so he said he planned on writing less than he thought he wrote. And that helped him get in the habit. Another thing that he suggested, which I'd never thought of before, is like every 90 days or so, pick up your journal and read through it. Like, what's the purpose if it's never going to be read again? Read through it, and then you'll start to notice some highlights in your life. Like, what's important enough for you to write down? What things do you want to maybe improve upon? What do you want to focus on that uh, that you want to help yourself improve? And so, and I, you know, thinking about that, and like, what am, what have I written down? Like, what's most important? Pretty much all about my kids and my family. Like, that's the most important thing in my life. And I, I thought that was really interesting. And then when I read that this this morning, you know, sit and learn at the at the feet of your own life and be taught by it. We have experiences in our lives so that we can grow. And I mean, what's the purpose for us to to grow and be better, right? It's mm -hmm. it's so great. And we we are our best advocate, our best helper. And if we can, you know, maybe write some of those things down, learn from that meal plan, learn from writing in in chronometer and say, okay, well, maybe I was feeling something. Learn from eating the Russell Stover sugar-free yeah. candies that are <laughs> yeah. not sugar-free. Yep, we can all take that minute to, <laughs> to kind of learn and recommit and reevaluate and be better the next day. So that's okay. what I had to say. Mike says Splenda is a brand and they're making more products now, including liquid sucralose and stevia erythritol blends. I think they also have an allulose. They might. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, everyone says, yeah, well, Lent is six weeks, it's 40 days, mm -hmm. ends on Eastern Sunday. Uh, MJ says, maltodextrin puts amylase, amylase enzyme turns to glucose right there in your mouth. Yeah. Sorry, no Splenda for you if you want to stay in ketosis. Interestingly enough, one of the studies that talks about sucralose was they combined people 
eat, having sucralose with taking an oral glucose load. Yeah. Which is the worst combination you can have, which is exactly what you get when you have Splenda. Uh, Betsy says, someone suggested taking a picture of every meal. That would be Dave Feldman. Yeah. He's hilarious. Anyway. Well, and we've done that before because our kids did a little test. Um, uh -huh. For him, our twins did, and they took a picture of everything they ate. And I think it's good, you know, however you want to journal, however you want to do it, whatever works best for you works. But I think, you know, even just going back and looking at the at the food pictures that you've taken before, like, that can help you. Well, Zen said, yep, stress and mindless eating, they go hand in hand. Um, let's see. Holly pointed out, friend us on Chronometer to have access to yes. all the Kyocho recipes using hello at ketochow.net. Because if it's in there for you, it's so much easier. At Life Station says, yeah, your hair is so pretty, Mary. Thank you. To Crazy Kios point out, points out that maltodextrin actually has a higher glycemic index than sugar. That is correct. Yeah. Because pure glucose has a glycemic index of 100. Yeah. That's, that's what everything else is um, based off of. Uh, maltodextrin, I think, is like 80 or 90. Um, white bread and rice actually has a glycemic index higher than 100, which is funny. Yeah. And um, sucrose, yes. which is a glucose plus a fructose, is only like 80, I uh, know it's like 55 or 65 I don't know what it is. on the glycemic index. That doesn't mean it's good for you, it's just it's that just it less. raises your blood sugar less than actual glucose. Mm -hmm. Uh, Audrey says, I bought the premium version of Car Manager on Black Friday because it was half price. Nice. Did Chronometer have a Black, Fr Black Friday sale? I, I actually am not sure. Yeah, I, I don't know. MG says, great advice, Miriam. Sitting at your feet of wisdom helps me for sure. Mm -hmm. My life coach says, if you are resisting journaling, your entry for that day should be, why am I resisting journaling? <laughs> yeah, write down, I don't want to do it. And then close the book. Like, that's yep. still something, right? Blue says Splenda does have an allulose. It contains natural flavors, though, mm -hmm. which, as we know, natural flavors doesn't mean it has sugar. It could, or it might mean that it has some flavoring, like coffee powder. Who knows? Yep. Natural flavor is one of those catch-alls that it's just a black hole. Who knows? Yep. The only way to really know would be to get test the, your glucose. Yeah. Also get the data. Uh, Debbie the says, morning, s'mores cookies were a wonderful treat last Ooh, night. Ooh, nice. Marcy gets her allulose at Trader Joe's. Two, two Crazy Kios says, went to Texas Day Brazil with our two-ounce Redmond yesterday and couldn't help but think of Dave Feldman and how he Aww. ate about half of one of those when we went to a steakhouse with him. Yeah, he really oh. goes to town on the salt. Uh, no, Two Crazy Kios points out that maltodext maltodextrin is a glycemic uh, index of 105. So Chris just remembering. Yeah. So I knew it was higher than glucose. Anyway. Um, Dave pointed, I mean, not Dave, Joe pointed out that uh, they went to Texas de Brazil and they had this special where you could get basically a whole bunch of uh, meals at half off. Oh, cool. If you bought them ahead of time. But we don't have any Texas de Brazil's by us. That's true. But Two Crazy Ketos, mm -hmm. we're talking about on their Keto on the Couch this morning, mm -hmm. they are going to be giving away one of those on, <gasps> oh, I, is, nice. it their, is it your Thursday live stream? I think it's the Thursday live stream because he said they said you have to be present to win because not everybody has a Texas A Brazil near them. Yeah. Like us. We don't have one. Pamela says I didn't realize about Russell Stovers. The the crazy thing is we have made that mistake kind of multiple times. It has mal, uh, maltitol in it. Yeah, maltitol. And you know, you go to the store and you're like, oh, it's sugar free. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's only pretending to be sugar-free. It's sugar only free. pretending to be sugar-free. And I, I think that's one of those mistakes that we all kind of have to make yep. on our keto journey. And then you learn from it. Yep. So, was well, there any other little bits of wisdom you wanted to share nope. today? All my wisdom is gone. Okay. Well, everybody, have a fantastic day. Um, oh, and Lisa says, I don't, don't have a Texas to Brazil either, and I live in Texas. What? <laughs> all right. Well, you guys all have a fantastic day. We'll see you tomorrow. We will be doing our uh, longer live stream tomorrow night mm -hmm. as well. So catch you then. Happy Monday. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye.